Welcome to the Trinity Tech Cast episode 10. Yay, we have reached episode 10 and we're popping the cranberry juice right now. My name is Mr. Charles uh, from Make It Simple TT at Make It Simple TT. And this is Mr. Redbit himself. Wait, now the lower third thing not coming up again. Oh, it's got a power banner up. That's what I see. Okay, it's back now. Uh, all right, yeah. Yeah. So this is episode 10. Uh, today is the 5th of February, 2023. We enter February. Your 10 months of January are over. Yes, finally. G- good Everybody evening to you, sir. You know, you should have gotten paid, pay your bills. And then, rea- and then realize how much money you have left. The good thing is February is <laughs> short because when I, normally we had to map out the things that we have to do every month. And yeah. you'd be like, okay, the, f- the weeks will go like this. And you look at February and be like, oh, February only had 28 days. That means yeah. we have a little bit of time to do a lot of stuff. Hey! Plus, uh, yeah, I can evolve too. And yeah. And I will can evolve week, you know, some people. Before. Ash Wednesdays, we're like, <laughs> all right, that might be holiday. Then Tuesday, go reach them. My time Friday, they'll be like, that's it still for the whole week. <laughs> so we have three topics to talk to, right? But before we jump into the topics, I'll tell all the topics one time. We have, um, we have TSTT um, issuing e-money coming up very soon. TSTT um, also running a fiber network in Tobago and Netflix password sharing. Working from home on Carnival, what is the, what's the going protocol for that? Like if you just work from home Monday and Tuesday, is work days or? No, 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 no. Well, at least from, from my experience, I mean, it's a holiday once. So it's a Generally observed uh, like a holiday. Generally, holiday. generally understood yeah. to be a holiday. Yeah. But it's I mean, not an official holiday. If I external company outside of China, they as work as normal, you know? But I mean, for me, I the company I work for is not just located in China, it's a regional company, you know? Right. So, but it's still understood that, okay, the people in China is, is you don't really have access to them. <laughs> It's, it's our understanding. Yeah, it's our understanding. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. But I think they I think they even acknowledge they put the send out the notification, you know, Carnival Monday and Tuesday holidays. Well, not holidays, but I never really I never really think about it, but um I think honestly I as an employer, I'll be like, all right, all you uh, take the two days off. But yeah, I work to yeah, I work to work to complete by Friday. So make sure you report on your things I have to do. Because <laughs> yeah. um when you work from home is task based kind of stuff now. So these are your mm-hmm. tasks. Get them done by the end of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, glad to know that because I wasn't too sure. I wasn't too sure how work from home would be for, for carnival people. All right, so let's go to um story number one. Story number one is TSTT and e-money. Now, I uh, picked this up in the Trinidad Express. The, it was published on the 1st of February. And it says that the Central Bank of Trinidad and Tobago yesterday announced that it issued provisional registrations to majority state-owned TSTT and a company called PESH, P-E-S-H, Money Limited, as e-money issuers. Now, the article kind of goes on to explain all sorts of different things. They explain the term for e-money. And here's my problem with, like, the e-money definition. There's always say e-money can be broadly defined as an electronic store of money, monetary value on a technological device, including mobile phones, that may be widely used for making payments to entities other than the e-money issuer. E-money can be used for payment transactions with or without bank accounts. And if you go on Wikipedia, that's the exact definition that they have of e-money. Mm-hmm. And... They did this with Paywise last year when they spoke about Paywise having the ability to issue money. And I still wasn't sure what our laws, what our regulations are for this e-money thing because how does it differ from a bank? And how, how, how can I be sure what insurance do I have that, well, if I take my physical cash or money, put it into this e-money machine, what what kind of laws or regulations I have in place to say that, okay, now my mobile phone is like a, a money store. But if I want to get back my cash, who I get it from? Yeah, I mean, I think, like, before it could become, a, like, one of these entities, you need to have, like, a certain amount of, Reserves. like, a cash value in your, in, yeah, in your bank as a kind of insurance. So the mm-hmm. central bank will only allow it, will approve you 
you know, let's say if you have a million dollars, there as you know, as a little, a little buffer in case anything. So I think that's probably some stuff in place there, and I guess they would have like some sort of insurance, you know, like say it's probably similar to credit cards and stuff. But going back to the whole e money issue, you know, like and I guess it'll be kind of similar to. I'm sure you heard people out there probably heard of Cash App. You know, cash up and, like and Zelly and something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. You know, okay. they cash up me at ten dollars, at twenty dollars, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. peer to peer transactions. But the thing is, in China, that what problem you really solving by introducing e money? Because I know it, it seems to be a, one of those new popular and popular um things in this space. You know, e money, a e money issue. But what problem are you actually solving in China? That? I <laughs> I'm not too sure what problem being solved. I cause I don't see myself cause um I don't see myself going up to a market vendor and be like, yeah, I'll pay with with um my paper account. Cause I think the name of the account is P A P Y R. That's the name of the app that they have. The platform mm-hmm. is called Paper, which is described as at the parlance as fast, secure, convenient digital payment solution for everyday life. Everyday life. Closest thing I could think about is NCash, right? Um, up to now, I haven't created an cash account because mm-hmm. I don't go nowhere to pay anybody with cash or with, with, with my phone. And if I do, I will have the cash because I had to go by and buy it. But think yeah. of like market vendors and people who sell on the side of the street and whatnot. And that, these are the people that they're trying to solve the problem for. But do they really want a problem solved? Yeah, I mean, because if you introduce a product like this, right? I don't yeah. remember Trinidad has a large underbank. underbank population. Yeah. Right? So if you're introducing something like this, it has to come, well, at least I would think it has to come with some kind of marketing campaign or you know, to educate people or try to get them to come on board. Because right now, as it is, what incentive somebody who prefers to be to, to operate with cash, who prefers not to be through the banking system, who prefers not to leave a paper trail. What incentive you have for somebody like this to come and use your digital e-money, e-cash stuff? You know, and I mean, we know the reasons why a lot of people prefer cash in general, you know? Yeah. Apart from not trusting the banks and paying fees and all of that, some people do it. Yeah, to like, talk, you know, to yeah, get away from, to get away from to, yeah, taxes yeah. And, and illicit you things. Know, so like, I know what, farmers, right? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so incentive people like this, like this, you know? Or even you and me, what's the difference with e-money versus just doing a, a bank transfer, an online bank transfer? Yeah, because like, from like my a, yeah. To your account, was the, was the benefit? Was the, re- the, instant? the only reason but I can think about is um most of the um, Americans and Europeans or whatnot, they go to these apps because doing bank transfers cost them a lot of money or cost them like, you know, a certain amount. Like, you know, we had we, we laugh about the 150 that is charged per transfer and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. The reason somebody would use Cash App and them kind of thing is because it's cheaper to transfer directly and it have less fees. But right now we are at the stage where we if we trying to get people to start to use online banking. Mm-hmm. So peer to peer banking now, I really not I really not seeing it becoming anything mainstream anytime soon because we just not on that digital transfer of money money vibe and um i i wish them the best but what are you gonna do if you can't convince me and you to get yeah then, like <laughs> sorry, you know, i i i consider myself somebody <laughs> open to, to to relatively new technology you know once it's proven and it's stable like you know but yeah for me i mean as somebody who who operate in the digital space and stuff like that, you know, if you're, if you're looking from the from the outside in and you want to receive payments from certain people, you know, I could see the, the benefit of something like Cash App, you know, pay Cash App, yeah. people could donate to you and stuff yeah. like that. But you know how much people like that in Trinidad with that specific yeah. niche need, you know? Yeah, what well, I want. I want, I want to have... Google Pay working on my phone. Where I put in my card or whatnot, and I go by the the um the payment counter, and mm-hmm. I don't have to take out my credit card. I just have to tap my phone, yeah. and I, I I want that. I don't want 
Yeah, yeah, me too. Apple Pay too. Yeah, I I want to work here, and um, the only the only people that see uh, somewhat close to that is um, WePay. They have um, they have terminals that working in Jamaica right now, where you could use the WePay app, and um, it's almost like Google Pay, but it's it's Caribbean Google Pay, and but you had a of course you had to pay a credit card inside it. I would rather that than uh, send me twenty dollars now, boy. Yeah. And you know? get twenty dollars in money, but you yeah. need to you need to travel, you need to pay a maxi to go here to here, here to somewhere else. So you will buy two doubles. Yeah. We're gonna do it this e money on your phone. If right. this vendor is not using it. Right. right? So it had to have like How wide scale that adoption. Cash out? Yeah. And then now I'll be like, Oh, I have twenty dollars in my e wallet. What can I do with it? Like yeah. not it's almost like Bitcoin. <laughs> like when you have Bitcoin. You had to get somebody who accepting Bitcoin to spend yeah. the Bitcoin, but nobody gonna accept the Bitcoin because it's too volatile. And well, that is why the crypto market kind of crashed because it's like, well, where you go spend it? Yeah.